Hello and welcome to this very first video in the tutorial series JavaScript for Absolute Beginners. This is very much a practice oriented course. We're going to be doing some coding, but first of all, why learn JavaScript? And we're going to be looking at why you should learn it in terms of what it can do in web development, but also look at the job prospects for front end web developers using JavaScript. But before we do that, I want to talk a little bit about what is JavaScript. So JavaScript is a programming language that is special because it was designed to run in internet browsers. So it's a programming language for the internet. It was developed in the mid nineties in just one week in fact, and it's come a long way since then. It's not as basic as it used to be, but its function is still, main function is still the same. It's created to enable dynamic HTML. And JavaScript has something of a monopoly in front-end web development because JavaScript is supported by all modern web browsers. Doesn't matter whether you're using Chrome or Firefox or Edge, whatever, it will support JavaScript. Now, JavaScript can also be used uh, in back-end programming, but we are going to be focusing on front-end programming where it is most popular and what it's primarily used for. When we talk about front-end web development, we're talking about web pages, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. We're not talking about database management or anything that's going on behind the scenes with data processing, anything like that. Okay, so let's move on now to why you would want to learn JavaScript in terms of what it can do for you in web development. So the main reason you would want to learn it is because you can go beyond what you can do with HTML and CSS alone. So with these two tools, you can create great looking web pages, but they're static. You can create a little bit of interactivity with CSS. You can only get so far. JavaScript opens a whole new universe of possibilities of things you can do uh, to a web page. So one of the most practical uses is in form input validation. So you can already validate forms with HTML alone, but you are rather limited in terms of the rules that you create. With JavaScript, you can create your own custom rules. Another great thing you can do with JavaScript is send and receive data from external sources. So retrieve data, maybe comments or news stories from your own backend database or a third party one. Uh, you can also send data there as well. So if there's user input and want to store it somewhere, you can send that to a server with JavaScript. Finally, an advanced use for JavaScript is in creating single page applications. So a single page application is just a web page that doesn't need refreshing. And that's because JavaScript is doing all of the work behind the scenes to change the page uh, in the way that we want it to. So you can do this with just vanilla JavaScript or plain JavaScript. Um, and it, but it's very popular to use a modern web framework to structure your work. But know that anything that you can do with React, Vue, Angular, these kind of frameworks, you can also do with plain JavaScript, and the frameworks are just a way of managing plain JavaScript. So the important point is to become really good at JavaScript. And then at that point, web frameworks will start making sense. But at the beginning, it's best to put them to one side and return to them later on when they'll be useful for structuring your code. OK, finally, let's move on to other reasons to learn JavaScript that are more job focused. So JavaScript is the most used programming language in existence, uh, according to Stack Overflow surveys. So I've got the 2020 results on the next slide. You can see that JavaScript is more uh, popular than HTML and CSS. So the good thing if you start learning JavaScript is you're not learning a niche language. There's plenty of resources out there on the internet. And also it's very widely used. So there's plenty of demand for JavaScript developers. Second, web developers are in demand in general. So on my next slide, I have the percentage of front-end developer jobs that have been posted over the years as a percentage of all IT job postings. And you can see here that there's been a steady increase over time in front-end developer roles up until it's getting towards about 5% now. And the orange represents permanent contracts. The average salary of a web developer is around $67,000 per year. Uh, this is an average, so if you're just starting out, it might be a bit less than this, and you probably earn more than this later in your career. 
but this is just to give you a ballpark figure of what you would expect to be earning. Finally, if you've become really good at JavaScript, your skill set is relatively future proof. Uh, why do I say that? Well, there's a lot of talk at the moment about Wix and Squarespace and how they are sort of killing this basic type of web development. And that's true. You can now create a basic web page uh, without any coding experience, but you can only really create a static web page. The demand is increasingly for developers who can implement complex custom web functionality. So a good example is Wix and Squarespace themselves. How were they created? So they were created uh, by people who can code and you couldn't remake those sites without being able to program. So become really good at JavaScript and your outlook on the job market is very good. Okay, so that is it for this first video. In the next video, we are going to be looking at how you can write your first line of code in JavaScript and get it running in the browser.